everybody, it's Paige, and today's video is going to be part two to my lip declutter. If you haven't seen part one, I will link it down below in the description box. This is the drawer that we have to go through today. This is my liquid lipstick drawer, but I also have a bunch of lipsticks back in the back of the drawer, plus some glosses over here. I'll just give you a little overview of the drawers that we already did. So this is my lip gloss drawer. This is my lipstick drawer, which doesn't have any lipsticks in it yet because I have all the ones that I'm keeping right here. And then I have my declutter pile over here. So I figured that we would go through this drawer first since there are a lot of lipsticks back here. And I would do that before I reorganized my lipstick drawer just to make sure that it's like, you know, as efficient as possible. So that's what we're going to be doing today. If you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy. And let's go ahead and get started. So this is my liquid lipstick drawer. This is full of liquid lipsticks here. We have my Fenty glosses over here. I'm not sure why I keep them here. I just do for some reason. Um, but I am gonna go ahead and take these out. And then I have some Revlon lipsticks down here. And then I also have a ton of lipsticks back here. So first I'm gonna take everything out and wipe down the drawer. I'm not sure what this is, <laughs> but this happens to all of my Ikea furniture. It gets this like gray like stuff. And I have no idea what it is. I've tried to figure it out, but I haven't got a clue. So um, no matter how many times I wipe it down, it still comes back. <laughs> so I'm just going to take everything out and wipe out the drawer to try to get rid of whatever that is. See, it just like wipes away super easily, but I don't know. It's only on like the side pieces like the inside here and then the outside here i think that's as good as it's gonna get i'm gonna put my little piece of grippy stuff i will link some of this down below in the description box i get questions on that all of the time um it's just like regular drawer liner you can use it in shelves or drawers in your kitchen your bathroom whatever but i just use it so that the stuff in here doesn't like slide back and forth when i'm opening everything so First, we have this lipstick organizer thing here, and I'm just gonna kind of tilt it back like, back like that. I got this from Marshalls, I wanna say. It's the brand B-I-N-O. This is the only lipstick organizer that I can find that fits these Marc Jacobs lipsticks that are back here. So, I guess, let's see. We're gonna be dealing with some awkward angles today, so I apologize. Um, I have a ton of these Revlon lipsticks that they sent me and I definitely don't need to keep all of them. We have these ones which I think are the shiny ones and then these ones are the matte ones. I also have more of them down here. They have a sticker on them if they are still sealed. You can see that it's still sealed and the colors are on the bottom so I'm just gonna kind of quickly go through these and I'll let you guys know which ones I'm keeping and which ones I'm getting rid of. I messed up really bad. Why? Spilled hot sauce all over my floor. Oh boy, Jarvis just spilled Cholula hot sauce all over his carpet. Like this kind of carpet right here. Oh my goodness. Well, anyway, <laughs> um, I'm gonna continue going through these. All right, so I'm gonna keep all of my Marc Jacobs lipsticks, and I'm only gonna keep these three Revlon ones. The rest of them I'm going to declutter. So I'm just gonna kind of pile them up in this container here just to keep them separated. These are all new and, you know, in good condition. This one did get squished and this one is also like squished. So these two I am gonna toss, but the rest of these can be given away because they are literally untouched. Uh, I'm not really sure how I plan on organizing these but I'm just gonna set the lipsticks up here in the lipstick drawer Alright guys, well here is my lipstick drawer. I just went ahead and 
organized it and there's a lot of empty space here this is awesome i obviously have lipsticks uh that aren't in here like my charlotte tilbury lipsticks i do need to organize those back into here since i just filmed a video with all of them but for the most part We've got a lot of space here. I'm very happy with that. Now we're gonna move on to the liquid lipstick declutter. And I think I'm gonna bring you guys over to the side just so you can see everything better. So here are all of my liquid lipsticks. I do have a couple of random lip liners in here because I kept all of my ill maquillage products together. But I think what I'm gonna do is go through these. I'm gonna put my key pile here, my declutter pile here. Um, so let's just go ahead and get started. I'm gonna, oh, there's like liquid lipstick on there. All right, I'm gonna start by pulling out my Laura Lee Los Angeles lipsticks. I'm definitely going to keep these. I really like Laura Lee Los Angeles. I feel like they are so underrated. <laughs> um, let's see, what else? I have some Ofra liquid lipsticks, and a lot of these are colors that. I'm probably not gonna end up using. We might come across some more, but I have these four, and honestly, I'm probably not gonna use any of those, so I'm just going to declutter them. Nothing against Ofra. I'm sure it's a great formula. I just, I know myself, and I know that I'm a nude lip kind of person. This is from Physicians Formula. This is their Velvet Finish Liquid Lipstick. This is really old and I never use that, so that one can be decluttered as well. I've got some ones, I guess I'll finish out this container here. Now these are from Pixi, and these are a really cool like whipped texture, and these are very nice, and I am gonna keep those even though they are a little bit more colorful. I definitely want some color, but I just know I don't need this many red kind of shades. I have some of these little minis from Kylie Cosmetics. I think these were from the Stormy collection. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. I actually might keep these. I'm a big fan of the Kylie liquid lipstick formula as well. Those are all so gorgeous and they're little mini, so we can keep those. I have these two from Motives and they are pretty. We've got some like nude type shades, but honestly, I just don't see myself really reaching for these ones over some other lips that I know that I love so much. So I am going to declutter those. And then I have these three. This one is from Just of Colors. It's like a deep red kind of color and I'm gonna set that in the maybe pile right here and then I have my wet and wild liquid lipsticks and I actually thought I was gonna like these colors more than I do they're both very odd I wore this taupey kind of gray color right here and I did not like it on myself but you guys were so nice when I wore that in whatever video that was and said that I looked good on me so I'm just gonna keep it even though I'm sure you guys were just you know not trying to be mean <laughs> next I have some Maybelline liquid lipsticks I actually love this formula this is their matte ink formula I have two of these regular kind of colors this one is like amazing this is in the shade loyalist it is such a pretty nude pink kind of color it really reminds me of virgin from morphe definitely gonna keep that one this one is in the shade romantic and this was actually given to me by a lovely lovely subscriber and this is a really pretty hot pink color so of course i'm gonna keep that one and then i have these two which were from their coffee collection or something like that i have the shades chai genius and hazelnut hypnotizer and i'm just gonna go ahead and keep both of those as well oh i see another ofra one this one's actually really pretty this is in the shade baroque Ooh, i like that color i'm gonna keep that one all right we've got some from belief beauty here are the three that we have i definitely don't need the red because i'm already keeping a red over here this one is called foxy this one looks really pretty oh yeah that is absolutely stunning i'm gonna keep foxy and then this one is called honey blush 
and this one's more of like a deeper purpley kind of color i think i might pass that one along i have this one from joa this is the what a matte matte liquid lipstick in the shade pink smoothie i know this is so old so that needs to go i have a couple of nars liquid lipsticks these are really pretty these are their power matte lip pigments and they are quite bright shades so we've got this like deeper hot pink kind of berry color and then this like super dark purpley shade but i'm actually gonna keep both of those this revlon one i just know i'm not gonna wear that color so that one can go um let's see i have a couple from morphe here i have an extra liquid lipstick in the shade virgin and then hot shot i'm gonna keep both of those this one is from bh cosmetics and it's still in the like sealed packaging so i'm gonna go ahead and declutter that one and pass it along to somebody else here's another revlon one that i probably won't wear we've got laura lee los angeles definitely gonna keep her i have some dominique cosmetics liquid lipsticks there's like my hair everywhere oh my god this one is a must keep this is in the shade babe that is so pretty this one is called nude kiss i'm probably gonna keep these two yeah that is stunning that actually looks a lot like the believe beauty one and then these two are deeper shades we have love drop and heartbeat so i'm gonna pass those ones along Here's another one. This one's from Lottie London. This one's still in its sealed packaging, so that one can go. Another Revlon red color that I probably won't wear. This one's actually kind of pretty, but... Ugh. Yeah, we're just going to let it go. This is my KVD Vegan Beauty liquid lipstick in the shade lolita i just recently purchased that so i am gonna keep that i've got some kylie liquid lips but i think i only have a couple i think this is all of them i'm gonna keep all of them i have the shades one wish kylie todd cranes and posy k next i have this one from jogia or jogia cosmetics that is so pretty um I'm gonna put this in the maybe. I have all of my Kaleidos lippies. These are their lip tonics. Since these are more sheer, I think I'm actually gonna keep these in my lip gloss drawer. This liquid lipstick, unfortunately, it needs to go. This is my Graveyard Girl and Tarte liquid lipstick in the shade Texas Toast. This is so old, this was like such a hard liquid lipstick to get this was back when limited edition stuff was actually limited edition and graveyard girl or bunny did a collab with Tarte, and it like sold out and then it wasn't restocked <laughs> but i just need to let go of that that's so old i have a bunch of these lunar beauty liquid lips which i think i'm gonna keep all of them i love lunar beauty as well we have a black a couple reds a pink and a nude oh my god all right i have my Guerlain Guerlain liquid lip this is sort of like a moosier kind of one i'm gonna keep that because i paid a lot of money for that <laughs> i have a couple of these rimmel ones i probably don't need these and they're real pretty old so um those two can go this is a little mini one from huda beauty i thought i had more than one of these i don't know what happened to the other one but i'm gonna keep it then we have some from ciate these are so cool these are like their glitter flip lip products i love the packaging of them and i really want to keep them but i'm gonna put them in the maybe all right and then we have anastasia these ones i'll keep because these ones i know are not like years and years old <laughs> these ones i also got more recently oh i think i'm gonna keep all of those ah and then we have these products here i have my bobby brown crushed liquid lips i love these so much i have four of them here plus a little 
mini so I'm gonna keep those and then I also have some ill maquillage stuff some lipsticks lip glosses and lip liners and I'm gonna keep all that as well as for the maybes I'm going to declutter the dose of colors one um, I think I might keep this one the Jogia and then my Ciate ones I'm gonna keep I just can't I can't get rid of it so <laughs> I'm gonna organize all of these back into here now All right, this is all of, oh, we missed one. <laughs> this is all of my liquid lipsticks reorganized. I feel like it looks so much better. These are all of the ones that I'm decluttering, so I'm just gonna slide those to my main declutter pile, and then I'm going to swing you guys around and show you the final drawer. All right, you guys, so here is the finished liquid lipstick drawer. I did decide to keep my Fenty glosses in here just because I don't really have anywhere else to put them. Also, it's Thursday, so the uh, like lawn, not lawn people, but like the landscaping people at our apartment complex are here, so I'm sorry if you can hear the lawn mower or whatever that is. But I'll just give you one last overview of my lip collection. So here is my lip gloss drawer. Here is my lipstick drawer. And here is my liquid lipstick drawer. So far, or I guess overall, I got rid of all of these lip products plus all of these unopened new ones. And I'm super happy with how much we got rid of. I think next I might do my eyeshadow palette drawers I have this whole entire Alex 9 drawer unit oh my gosh that is so loud I think they're gone <laughs> but anyway I have so many palettes to go through so I think that'll be my next video and then I think that'll pretty much be it for my makeup drawers but I do have skincare these ones that aren't closed those are some of my skincare drawers and that needs to be gone through as well but that is it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, please don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. I love you guys so, so much. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!